Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. Today we have a classified player protection update. So this is a blog post going over all things cheating in Rainbow Six Siege. So mouse and keyboard on console, hackers on PC and pretty much everything else in between along with a little bit of information on the reputation system as well. So they start with a year in review where they go over all the stuff they've kind of been working on and they have been doing quite a good job. They brought in Mousetrap, they brought in QB and this has all happened in the last 12 months as well. So we're going to take a look at everything. So first off, they talk about Mousetrap. Now, I have made a video on Mousetrap recently, which is all about the fact that Mousetrap has been bypassed. Now, what has happened is the, the detection system is still working fine, but players have found out how to leave a game at a certain time to not get the input delay. So they can just cheat as much as they want on console with mouse and keyboard and completely get away with it. So we're waiting for an update to come out to actually fix that. And reason this, this is all praising themselves over a big reduction in mouse and keyboard players on console. So you can see here, this is a detection before they switch the system on, as you can see, this is what it was like. And then boom, when they switched on, dropped right down. And this is what they've given us. But of course it, it cuts off at 12th of May, not long before an exploit is found, which I would think means that their numbers are now in this kind of range, somewhere up here as mouse and keyboard players are definitely back on console. And they don't mention this at all here, going through it until we get to the very last sentence, where they say, we are dedicated to ensuring fairness in Rainbow Six Siege and are aware of current community concerns with Mousetrap. We are currently working to deploy a fix for the reported issue as soon as possible. So they do know there's an exploit and they do plan to fix it, but they don't give us a time frame or anything like that. At this point, unfortunately, this exploit has been known for about a month. So unfortunately, it's taken them too long. Because I've always said the big thing when it comes to Mousetrap and its success is iteration. So if they can get on top of exploits and any workarounds quickly, and I'm talking like weeks, not months to fix, then that would be great. Whereas this looks like it's going to take way more than a month to fix. They also have this here, which is not the best thing to do. So they've said, if you've been hesitant to play ranked on console before, or if you're thinking of returning to the game after some time away, now is the perfect time to give it a try. Now is not the perfect time because most keyboard players are back in full force in Siege right now. So this is the least perfect time to go back to ranked right now on console. As such, I've played almost no ranked games in the last little bit. And when I do jump in, I notice the difference significantly. And as such, I'm spending most of my time on PC playing Rainbow Six Siege, which might be funny to hear because I use a controller on both platforms. But the reason for it is that I did notice a significant difference between this time and this time. I really noticed a difference in gameplay and I'm just an average player. I'm like silver or gold. And I noticed a big difference on console gameplay alone this time and it was beautiful. So I'm just gonna play on PC until the exploit is fixed. Then I'll jump back onto console once it has been repaired. So right now I would not say it's the perfect time to jump back on. Once this fix is out, whenever that'll be, whether it's weeks, months or seasons away, as soon as this actual fix comes out, then it will be the perfect time to come back into Siege Ranked on console. But good numbers and I'm impressed. Cause this little jump up here, this is where I was kind of expecting the hardware makers to actually make a software update to bypass Mousetrap and just to see this go whoop, right back up. And it hasn't, like that's the thing. The hardware makers have effectively, by the looks of it, given up. They've changed their entire tone when it comes to it and they don't appear to be trying to bypass Mousetrap, but of course the players are still out there and they have managed to find a fix uh, for now. So we'll see how long it takes for them to get this out. And then we've got the QB update here, which was released November 8, 2022. Now that's not entirely the case. It was released at that time, but it was buggy. It got switched off and it was off for a couple of months before they switched it back on. But what this does is it builds an entire build of the game on PC. So you'll notice when you open Rainbow Six Siege, it'll open up and then it'll close and then it'll open up again. And it's because it's built a whole new build of the game where it saves its stuff to different parts of RAM than normal and stuff like that. And as such, you end up with a build of the game that's kind of randomized, making it hard and more tedious and more expensive, many cheats on PC. And they say here that some actual cheat vendors have stopped creating cheats for Siege. And the great thing here about this is 
If it gets more tedious and more expensive to make cheats for Siege, you can just go to another game that's probably potentially bigger and make cheats for it instead. So there's just less options out there for cheaters to use. What I didn't know though, and I'm not sure about this. So they say we've seen great results from the system which has already contributed to ban over 10,000 cheaters. So I didn't know that this actually was helping them to also identify cheaters. I thought it just made cheats less kind of reliable. So good to see that it's actually helped to stop cheaters as well and get them banned. They also say this update has been getting lots of positive feedback from the community. Certainly for me, I haven't seen a cheater on the PC in probably two seasons or so. And although I'm kind of just an average player, I would usually back in the day, kind of like uh, towards the end of last year, probably see a cheater every maybe five to 10 games where I've like just not seen a single one for probably six months now. And they also say here, we are however continuously monitoring the system to identify opportunities for improvement, of course, it's the cat and mouse game with cheers. Now moving on from that, we're moving away from cheats and talking about the reputation penalties. So they give us a little rundown on some of the stuff. So we've got here reverse friendly fire, written chat warning and voice chat warning. You can see the first warnings here, and then we've got a reduction down to about 50% for the second warnings, and then down to 30 to 20% for the actual sanctions themselves. So I expect a lot of this, because Siege is quite a hardcore game when it comes to reverse friendly fire, there's probably a big chunk of just new players in here who accidentally shoot their teammate. That is bound to happen quite a chunk. And I've been seeing a lot of new players in game for sure. But overall, it's good to see a reduction down here from the first, second, and then sanction. And we'll see how this goes. They're also planning to, of course, improve the reputation system. And we should see some updates this year. And then they've got down here coming up in year eight. So this is what is coming. And uh, some of this does actually include year nine as well. So first up is something coming next season. So this is going to be the commendation system. So this means you'll be able to actually click on the player that you're playing with. And instead of like going to and say they're griefing or something like that, you'll actually be able to say this player was great. They had great communication. They were good to play with, stuff like that. And as such, you're going to be able to kind of uh, boost players up and show who are the really good players that you're playing with, which will help the system know about how things are going on. And then alongside that, we're also getting the reputation system update as well, which is going to happen both in season three and in season four. So I assume by the time we get to season four, we should be getting rewards in the system, but we'll see. It's going to be a bunch of different updates along those entire seasons. So they're going to be just, you know, UI improvements, but also how the actual system works as well. And of course, I'll link in with this commendation system. So I'll wait and see for this to actually come out and we'll see how it impacts it. This I think is a brilliant idea, just being able to give you the opportunity to say this player was actually really good to play with, and that's a brilliant thing and a good update. We're also getting the privacy mode on console, which I cannot wait for, I'm looking forward to it. And it came out in year seven, season two for PC, but the console, they just say the end of year eight. Now year eight technically could be next year. It could be the mid season update, which would be around about January. So they could still be coming out next year. And it's pay this does not have an actual release date attached to it. It's certainly one of my most you know, uh, loved features on PC right now. And I don't stream, I just love to be able to go completely incognito. So looking forward to this also hitting console in the future. And then we've also got an update here to ranked requirements. So on PC, in order to play ranked, you need to attach your actual uh, phone number to your account so you can play ranked. You don't have to do that on console though. And I'm not sure exactly what this is gonna be doing when it's actually implemented. Cause really reading it, there's not too much to take away here. Cause they say here during year eight and nine, We'll be taking the first steps to start a new foundation of safeguards. And this is it, the first steps? Like, that, that sounds like small steps to begin with. And they're going to safeguard the competitive integrity of the game. They just don't seem to, like, say what. And like I say, they, you know, in order to play ranked, you have to have a phone number connected to your account on PC, um, but not on console. Maybe console's getting it but then there must be something else coming in as well. Like what are these multiple new measures? What did they do? What is, I know what the point of them is, but like, is it like the phone numbers or is it something completely different? So yeah, they're gonna try and address Smurf and stuff like that. I don't know what that would you know mean. Like maybe watching IPs, hardware IDs, making sure that someone's not playing on multiple accounts, but they do say that more information about this update 
will be revealed this year. So yeah, they're going to be going after Smurfin in some way, but we'll have to wait and see what that is. It's just something over, I guess, the phone validation they've got currently in on PC. But yeah, that is an update on the kind of state of cheating in Rainbow Six Siege with some reputation stuff chucked in there too. It's a pretty good read. There'll be a link in the description below if you actually check it out. It is good to see that Mousetrap was being successful and totally blows the kind of success out of the water for me because I was honestly expecting this to go down and then straight back up and it hasn't. Although I do think it's gone straight back up here and I hope that there will be a fix within maybe the next couple of weeks for it. But I think, I, I do believe, because I think this cuts off really kind of at the perfect time where this exploit was found and I'm pretty sure it just goes gradually up from there. So yeah, I'm hoping we'll get an exploit fix for that, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, that is classified player protection update. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.